we knew one thing for sure, they weren't going to do the exact same thing they did at West Virginia. So they played more zone principle coverages where they can keep eyes on your, your backfield, not just run off and and then allow, so you knew something. So early on, I think even the first play of the game, we ran a play predicated on, you know, man look, we got a zone look, and that set us in the first dang series. So then there's other things, I mean, that's just one thing I think about. But, you know, they blitzed us in our 20 personnel stuff. Obviously, they had seen that we were running a big play action, and they got us a couple of times. And if you look at when we had, it's the history of football, if you look at when we went three and out, or didn't move it, they got us on first down. So it was a lost yardage play, and also second and 11. And it's a screen, and we just didn't block it right, and we lost a yard. Or Clint got sacked, you know, on a naked stay, pull up, and it's now second and 17. And then now you're behind the eight ball. So that's the big thing that we have done when we did move it, is we stayed kind of in manageable third downs. We moved the ball early. Uh, Clint was able to run it some. And uh, I thought we were pretty steady when we just didn't have those points. And that's, you look back and say, okay, well, you know, probably a couple times, uh, probably out of 20 personnel when they were blitzing us, they probably could have done something different. You know, again, every game there's 10 of Some of them will stink more when you lose, and some of them will bad. That didn't matter. You know, it matters. It all matters. It's just, uh, you know, when you recall back, there's things that you, you do differently. You guys didn't have to be honest to God, third and long. Until late, and then you have kind of a bunch of right. they got us. There's 11. It just came in that situation where, like I said, we have a, like one of them we ran a, a drop back, make it stay, and they sacked us. Another one was on the last drive where we ran it, and the guard got beat, and tackle, tackle, so we lost a yard. So it just kind of turned out at one point we were 7 11 and third down, so we ended up 7 15. So that tells you right there that the last. Four third downs, we didn't convert it. So, that, and a lot of that would have to do with what, how far we had to go. Obviously, the last one overtime was. Todd, from a mental standpoint, how hard is it to flip that switch after you lose such an emotional game as a player and as a head coach to kind of now have to just go like that and focus on baseball? Uh, it is because you. <clears throat> I don't ever want to be here where our team doesn't understand how important that game is. But when you do that, you put a lot on that game. And it's hard. It's harder to come. If you just say that's ah, just like any other game, and that's the way it is, I don't believe in that. I believe in that is a big game. Okay. But with that, then the next week is a lot of fun to come back from. Uh, so we got to figure out some reason why we don't, we don't like Baylor. I don't know why. We have to come up with some reason why we don't like Baylor. We have to come up with some some stupid to say to get our guys motivated. I guess. So um, I don't. I just um, it, it is difficult. You put a lot into it. You still had a chance. Not only was it that, but you still had a chance to be in the Big 12 race. You know, you want to be considered a really good program. You want to be king of your state. I mean, there's so many different reasons why. That's what makes it hard. Now you catch your Baylor team that's really kind of on the upswing winners. A three or four uh, the playing tough at home. They just beat Tech, and then they upset the number one team. They could. They're really, they're, you know, they like any team in our league. You're a hair away from being. It's so balanced this year. You know, from top to bottom. You know, you can. You know, if you say, well, is there really one dominant team? I don't know. There's 10 pretty good teams. And if you look at losing by seven on the road to, to West Virginia early, and you look at them losing, they were in the game in Texas. And you look, they turn over six times against TC. I mean, they've had their opportunities to win games, a lot like we have. Somehow we found a way to win with it. They have just won. But, uh, they've got really good skill players, they've got really good coaches. I mean, they've done a great job. I mean, no one wins a Baylor. And our Browns and staff is one of Baylor, so that will have enough say. Do you guys have even a different view of the appreciation of that from the standpoint of what you guys have done here, that they've been able to get it going? I mean, it's tough nowadays to get a program going like they've looked like sure. they've got it going that way. Yeah, you've got, to get, you've got to get lucky and get some uh, some different makers. Mm -hmm. you got to, you've got to, you know, to get it started. Um, I think you've got to have a really good plan and a good system, which I think if we're comparing the places that Mike's had, and obviously I don't even know Art Browse, but obviously he won in high school and he's a good football coach, and so obviously he's got a good plan. So, and then, and then, okay, it's one thing to have a good plan, then you've got to have really good players, whether it's Case Keenum or it's, or it's uh, RG3, and then you've got to do a great job of evaluating which they have done. Because I promise you, even if you look at a lot like our place and their place, I would bet if you looked 
Now, maybe it's just because recruiting services half the time don't know what they're talking about, but I would doubt that their recruiting classes are littered with, especially their offensive personnel, littered with five, four, five-star guys. So they've done a great job.